Today we're starting a little graduation party. I make way too much food. I got you, I sure look and I please have a <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That is a walking taco fail right there. Okay, welcome everyone to today's vlog. We are at Stanley's. I'm Ryan. There's my mom. There's my dad, and today we're throwing a little graduation party. I graduated a few days ago. You. Yeah, I graduated a few days ago from high school, um, and I'm the youngest of the family, so this will be the last graduation Woo! party. Well, there's going to be one in Maryland, I think, too. Oh, yeah, we're also throwing one. But this one is for all of my Florida friends, um, and I can't wait. We have a little community pool that we're going to do it at. We just got a bunch of ingredients for the food. We're gonna do walking tacos, which are a taco in a bag. Uh, you'll see what those are a little bit later if you're curious. It's a kid's favorite from when you were growing up. Swim team, legendary food. We have some decorations right here, uh, some fly fans, some cookies. It's just gonna be just a little two hour thing, fun thing for my friends. Um, can't wait. Dad's gonna hop on the blender, make some pina coladas version. We're all, we're all kids. And strawberry daiquiris. And about strawberry tacos. daiquiris. So I can't wait. Ryan, what do you think? Do you think more people will opt for a daiquiri or a pina colada? I think pina colada is going to be the play here. Uh, okay, good. Because I, I got two pina colada mixes in one daiquiri. Right. All right. Okay. Excellent. Well, let's get active. So I have to tell you what started out as, hey Ryan, why don't we have some of your close friends over for dinner? We'll have like a nice dinner here at the house and I'll make dinner and you know, we'll grill or something and, and have some friends over and just sort of give them a little present and thank them for, you know, being your friend. <laughs> More like celebrate like graduation, right? So we started talking about, okay, what would that look like? Who would we invite? And then we sort of morphed into, well, instead of having it here, maybe we should have it at the pool. If we have it at the pool, then maybe we should invite more people. If we invite more people, then maybe it shouldn't be dinner. Maybe we should have like a more casual. So now it's four to 6 p.m., a pool party <laughs> with pina coladas and daiquiris uh, and walking tacos. So I think that's really fun. I would have done either one, but it, as in true Donnelly style, we get this little seed of an idea and it morphs into something much bigger and much more fun. All right, the watermelon is cut up, ready to go. We're heading down to the nice we're heading to the pool right now we're gonna go ahead and put everything not put anything out but set like set up the table and that kind of stuff and put the serving dishes out and see what we need mm -hmm. and then we're going to um, put stuff in the refrigerator and decorate and that kind of stuff so it's all ready then we'll tell you what we're doing now. so we already tell everybody what we're doing where we're no. going oh, okay <laughs> we'll tell you we'll tell you when we go it's funny um what fifty dollars worth of decorations doesn't go very far but when all the stuff is put out i think it'll look better actually we have the glasses too the glasses will be a decoration ryan too when they go up you know what i mean yeah i wonder if we should put donnelly paper down and line them up on the bar to make them look cool what do you think because it'd be fun to use as a decoration yeah, yeah. Or do you think they should be over here and somebody grabs them and takes it over? I don't know. What do you think? They should be by the bar. Okay. Welcome everyone to Gordon's Food Supply. Listen, for what we're doing for the party, it's called Walking Tacos. And we need... I'm just showing everybody Gordon's because it's, it's like a restaurant supply. I love it. Okay, go ahead. Basically, for a walking taco, you use bags of Doritos and bags of Fritos. Well, the Doritos were no problem. We got those. But we ordered them on Amazon. They were overnight delivery. Yes. But the Fritos... We weren't going to get here until tomorrow. And the party is today. So that's not going to work. So we drove 30 minutes to this place to find this 50-count bag of Frito boxes. So now we have 40 Doritos. So now we have 90 bags and only like 25 people are coming. It's all good. <laughs> and the reason that we came here, we could have just done it with Doritos. You guys, we could have we could have just done with Doritos. But Ryan, it's his party, and he is I, a Frito guy. I am. I only do it with Fritos. And we and could I, have... I don't want this to make it seem like I've made no. let's drive 30 minutes or I'm that picky. But it's just, it's a it's a thing. It's, it's a thing. thing. And we could have gone to the grocery, regular grocery store and got a big bag of Fritos and poured them into a bowl, but it's just not, not the same. The same. It's not a walking taco. To, you need to eat it out of the bag. If you're having a walking taco party, you have to actually have one. Yeah. 
All right, you ready? Let's get going. Congratulations. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like. We have it all set up. We have our walking tacos. So we got the very, very expensive Fritos, the Doritos, cookies, taco meat, sour cream cheese, tomatoes, all, you know what all that stuff is, a little bit of watermelon, some snacky snacks. And then over here, we have a little cornhole. This is Nan and Pat's cornhole. They let us borrow it. Ryan's little picture from his graduation and some decorations that you guys saw earlier. And then Michael, who's like Isaac on the love boat. If you guys, oh, I'm sorry, Tom Cruise and Kajal. <laughs> all right, all right. Both are great bartenders. Not as wonderful as Mike Donnelly. Look at the setup back there. I'm loving, that looks really nice. You want a gotcha, I sure would. Can I please have a <laughs> Money the yes, he is. Holy cow. <laughs> you guys, these are fly, what do you call them? Fly fans to keep the flies away. So we're trying them for the first time and seeing if they work. Ryan, what do you think? You ready? I'm pumped. This looks awesome. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. We're happy to celebrate you. Okay. Excellent. Do you think your friends will be okay being on uh, film? Yeah. Yeah, be okay vlogging? Certain ones. Uh, like it, yes, yeah. I know who they are. Definitely, my friend Ethan loves it. Trev loves it. Yep. Yeah. Evan loves it too. Evan loves it, yeah. Charlie loves it. Uh-huh. Yes. Whoa! Woo! Uh-oh. We'll this is great. Ethan and Maddie's first ever walking taco. Actually, nobody here has had a walking taco before. You gotta crush up the Fritos. And then, and then you open her up. Did okay. you choose Fritos or do you all, all chose Fritos? All Fritos. All right. Okay. And then you put the meat in, you make it just like a taco, but it's in the bag. And so you can walk with it. Hence the name. Hence the name. And so you just chuck a bunch of meat in there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. John, you're not going to have a walking taco? Trev, what else do you no, want? I'll, 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 I'll walk walk a taco. Cheese? Yeah. A walkie talkie? Awesome. Do we have a serving spoon for this, uh, for this sour yeah, cream? Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, okay, I was like, yeah, I thought I forgot. Okay, so okay. then you guys, after you do the meat, then you have the sour cream and the cheese, the tomatoes, the sauce, and the lettuce. And then you just walk around and eat it. What'd you say? The sour cream guy. What kind of question do you ask? Yeah, I know. Sweet. <laughs> All right, wait. Here's your fork. Thank you. You're welcome. Dig it around. Mix it up. All, like, mix it all up. I accidentally ripped my bag over down the middle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm an amateur. That is a walking taco fail right there. Wait, what happened? He ripped his bag down the front. What? So now it's like a plate. You lemon. Well, it's like all the You like it, Ethan? Excellent. All right, yeah. excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Maddie, I can't wait to hear what you say. What? Well, I couldn't put a spoon out. It would make it even harder. That's good. You like it? I do. Okay, okay. Excellent. Well, enjoy, everybody. Okay, this is my favorite thing ever. This is Trevor. Trevor is... Where's Trevor? Trevor's over in the orange shirt over there walking away. Today, um, all the seniors went to their elementary school and did the walk at the elementary school. And they gave them pictures of them when they were in fifth grade. So they got to walk with their little pictures. And that's Trevor in fifth grade, the cutest thing ever. All right, you guys, so my toxic trait, which is what the kids say it these days, like the trait that's like a bad trait that you have, is that I make way too much food. And the reason I do that is because I used to make way not enough food. And then Mike uh -huh. called me out on it one time. Uh -huh. We've been married maybe 10 years. He's like, you know, maybe you should, cause I don't eat a lot of food, right? So I just make a little bit of food, but we have people over and there's like not enough food. He's like, you know, Jill, just go big, go big on the food. So now I go really big on the food and I always have a ton of food left over. For example. What? Oh my gosh, they're in the pantry. You're really gonna the eat? only way to eat at walking taco. <laughs> Leftover. Didn't you get one during the party? Abundant. <laughs> yes. Again, we have, we got 50 bags of Fritos. We have so many Fritos. Uh -huh. And I have a whole nother, as you guys know, a whole nother box coming tomorrow because it wasn't going to arrive today. So I had to go get an emergency box. I made eight pounds of ground <laughs> beef. I have a ton, like I have so much of this left. So I'm going to freeze it 
because we're gonna be eating walking tacos and regular tacos and for burritos for the next 10 years. Yes, <laughs> food does not go to waste in this house, even if we make too much of it. And we have, there's some, oh, and cookies. Look at this cookie tray. Okay, well, there's no chance we're gonna eat all those, but I, I definitely can freeze those. And when the kids come back for Christmas and that kind of stuff, for, hopefully before Christmas. <laughs> I can freeze them though, right? What do you guys do? Do you make too much food? Do you make too little food? How do you know how much food to make? I tried to ask Ryan for RSVPs and kids don't do that kind of thing. And none of the parents that came ate anything. Whatever, it's all good. I would much rather at this point have way too much food than not enough food. So here I go. I'm going to now bag this up and freeze it in mini portions. Okay, so the party is now over. Everyone went home, everything's cleaned up. Evan went back to his house, showered, came here, cause me and Charlie and Savannah and Evan and Wayne are all gonna go to uh, beach club, have a fun yeah. night. But uh, anywho, the party's over. And so it's a little bit sad cause he's, Evan's going to UCF in the summer. Yeah, June, I leave And soon. so he leaves soon, so does Trevor. So we're trying to have a couple good last, you know, hurrahs here. And I'm going to be traveling a little bit. Evan's going to be out of town some. So it's sad, but, you know, life must go on. And yeah. that's why we live for, for stuff like that. For all of us to get together, drink some pina coladas, have a good time. So, yeah, we are going to peace out. And we hope you have a good night. See you guys. That was bad.